In the face of massive student protests, Sheikh Hasina fled from the post of Prime Minister of Bangladesh and took refuge in India at the beginning of last August. An interim government took over after he left the country. Nobel laureate economist Professor Dr. The interim government led by Mohammed Yunus has undertaken reforms in key sectors of the country. In such a situation, the chief advisor, General Lakaru Zaman, the chief of army staff of Bangladesh, has expressed strong support to this government of Yunus. He said he would support the government no matter what. At the same time, Bangladesh army will not interfere in politics, he said, within the next one and a half years. There should be a transition to democracy in the country. General Lakaru Zaman said these things in an interview given to Reuters. The news agency said in a report on Tuesday, September 24, Bangladesh's army chief has pledged to support the interim government at all costs to help complete key reforms undertaken by the interim government that came to power after the fall of Sheikh Hasina. So that elections can be held in the country within the next 18 months, the report said. Reuters reports that General Wakaru Zaman and the army did nothing to stop student-led protests against Hasina in early August. And this is what sealed Sheikh Hasina's fate and after 15 years in power, this autocratic ruler resigned and fled to neighboring India. In such a situation, General Walker said in an interview given to Reuters at his office in the capital Dhaka on Monday, Nobel laureate doctor he has the full support of the interim government led by Mohammed Yunus. He also gave an outline to free the military from political influence. General Wakaru Zaman said, I will stand by him Dr. Mohammed Yunus, no matter what so that he can complete his mission. The pioneer of the global microcredit movement, Yunus has promised necessary reforms in the judiciary, police and financial institutions to pave the way for a free and fair election in the country of 170 million people. General Wakaru Zaman took over as army chief a few weeks before Hasina's ouster. He said, after the reforms, the transition to democracy should be done within a year to one and a half years. However, he also emphasized the need for patience at this time. If you ask me, I would say we should enter the democratic process within this time frame, he said. But Bangladesh's two main political parties, Hasina's Awami League and her arch-rival Bangladesh Nationalist Party, have both called for elections within three months of the interim government taking power last August, according to Reuters. General Walker says that the chief advisor of the interim government, Yunus and he army chief are meeting every week and they have a very good relationship. The Bangladesh army supports the government's efforts to stabilize the country after the turmoil. I am convinced that if we work together, there is no reason for us to fail, he said. More than 1,000 people were killed in massive repression and violent clashes by the then government after protests against quotas in government jobs began last July. Eventually this movement turned into a widespread anti-government uprising. The bloodiest movement in the history of independent Bangladesh. Peace has returned to the bustling streets of Dhaka, the densely populated metropolis at the center of mass uprisings and insurgencies. But parts of the civil service are still not functioning properly after the dramatic fall of Hasina's administration. About 190,000 members of the Bangladeshi police are still in disarray. In this situation, the army is working along with taking various steps to fulfill the responsibility of law and order across the country.